My morning must read is a call for the White House to think big and move beyond temporary piecemeal measures to boost the economy. It comes to us from Jeffrey Sachs of Columbia University. He says that you really need something to address structural challenges in the economy, writing, if Mr. Obama were to stop angling for more temporary stimulus and instead put forward sound programs for job training, low carbon energy, modernized infrastructure, he would carry the public and win the political battle. He needs the president, that is, to exhibit leadership with big, broad, inspiring ideas. And you wonder where we'll be on this in April, in May, in June. I mean, sequestration going on. We sort of stopped talking about it. Just you real, there's a mystery here to how. Well, he's no longer running for re-election, so now's the time to think big. Well, if you talk to David Stockman, the former budget chief under Reagan, everything is going to absolutely collapse, eco Armageddon, if you will. But <laughs> like the fallout that. has been really. Fast and furious from the Stockman op-ed in the New York Times, including another op-ed columnist, Paul Krugman, Nobel laureate, taking on Stockman in his uh, piece. It really comes down to economics. He says, I was disappointed in Stockman's piece. I thought there would be some kind of real argument. Instead, it was just a series of gee whiz context and model-free numbers embedded in a rant, and not even an interesting rant. From a man who knows about interesting rants. <laughs> yeah, but, but this... <laughs> Good, Michael Holland. That's funny. But the idea of model-free, and I mean, you know, I'll talk to David on radio today. I know Betty Lou has yeah. David Stockman on Bloomberg Television. And the idea here of the rigor that's necessary that where the liberals say to the conservatives, okay, that's all great, but why aren't interest rates higher? Yes, and his Stockman's point in his piece is that it's phony central bank money that's just fueling this massive bubble in the stock market. It's going to go away. And by the way, Congress has been doing nothing to fix no. our problems on the budget. And you can just expect austerity it and hard times.